Hi, I'm Edric Devet, and I'm this month's Average Joe. Uh, I started growing a beard about three years ago. Mm. Went on a hunting trip. Uh, and the rule always is that no shaving is allowed. My wife, at that time, not being a great fan of facial hair, we, I had a goatee when we met. It doesn't take me too long to grow a beard. Um, so it was pretty much there after the trip. I hinted and said, uh, well, it's probably time to shave it off. And she said, no, she actually quite likes it. I must leave it. And that's where it started. Underberg, um, I'm one of nine um, official brand ambassadors worldwide, the only one in Africa. Um, the other brand ambassadors being well-known actors, uh, musicians, and uh, I always joke and say, it, then there's this guy in Brackenfell that no one knows. My stepfather always had Underberg in the house for general well-being, stomach ailments, and he used to have one a day, as a rule, and uh, that actually became a tradition, and I'm just carrying on with it. Due to the size of my Newburgh collection, I got the rare opportunity to meet one of the sales directors, uh, Rainer Bentele, who's become a very dear family friend. And on a trip to Germany to go and visit him uh, with my wife and kids, uh, he gave us the opportunity to meet the Mr. Underberg and Mrs. Underberg themselves at the Founders House in Rheinberg. Uh, as I mentioned, Rainer, um, he, on, on a visit to us, uh, to South Africa, uh, he brought some catalogs with and said, but the distributor for, for Asia, um, him and his father bought a, a, a Swiss watch company and uh, they were looking for a distributor for South Africa. So I was actually gonna be a brand manager for Fortis and not being able to find one or assist them in finding a distributor. I'm the official distributor and importer of Fortis Swiss watches in South Africa. Fortis watches um, are not a very well-known brand in South Africa, um, but they're definitely the, the hidden champion of the Swiss watch industry in the sense that they're completely independent, it's a family-owned business, and not many people know it, but they were the actual first producer of the self-winding mechanical wristwatch. The Firefly Chili Sauce, uh, interesting product, interesting story. I started making my own chili sauce due to the fact that I was bored with what was out there. The part-time hobby then became a business due to the fact that I was spending money to give sauce away free of charge. Um, and my philosophy with, with hot sauce is very, very simple. Flavor is first, burn is a bonus. The logo is based on a Mexican Day of the Dead tattoo, which I actually have with my wife and kids' names on it. And being an average Joe, this is the reason why I love what I do and do what I love.